Boeing 737 MAX 8 aircraft banned from UK airspace. Here's a summary of the article. As investigators urgently seek to understand why the Ethiopian Airlines flight ET-302 crashed, the Civil Aviation Authority has joined Australia, Singapore, China, Indonesia and Malaysia in banning the jet. A spokesperson for the CAA said, as we do not currently have sufficient information from the flight data recorder, we have, as a precautionary measure, issued instructions to stop any commercial passenger flights from any operator arriving, departing or overflying UK airspace. The UK Civil Aviation Authority's safety directive will be in place until further notice. All 157 passengers and crew aboard the Boeing 737 MAX 8 were killed when it crashed shortly after takeoff from Addis Ababa on a routine flight to Nairobi. The other leading operator of the aircraft type from the UK is Norwegian, which has 18 of the variant and another on order. Research by The Independent on flights over the past week show that Gatwick Helsinki is the most frequent UK service using the jet, but London and Edinburgh to Oslo and Edinburgh to New York are also popular. Some foreign airlines operate services to the UK using the MAX 8, including Turkish Airlines from Istanbul to Birmingham and back. This post received a score of 3,327, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. I'd like to return 40B worth of planes, please. I can offer you store credit. Oh, okay, I guess. Does it expire? Yeah. You have one year to buy $5 billion worth of planes and stuff from us. Oh, and if we take over a year to deliver, haha, we will, your store credit has expired. Norwegian just decided to ground all their 737 MAX as well. And now Germany as well. Netherlands to edit entire European airspace now. USA, USA, USA. It's okay the US government said they plane is fine. Two crashes in five months is normal. I know that Southwest already implemented some sort of a backup system on their cockpit display that would make the MCAS issue really obvious if it was occurring so the pilots could disable it without confusion about what is happening. I'm not sure if American has done the same, or if that fix is even good enough. What if this issue arises when the plane is only a few hundred feet above the ground or less? Are the airlines in the US, only Southwest and American have the 737 MAX and both have about 20, IIRC, Edit, American owns 22, Southwest owns 31, and United has 12. Still, I was supposed to fly Southwest on a 737 MAX 8 next week. Screw that, already changed my flight. Thanks to Southwest for having $0 flight change fee. How do you know what type of plane they're using for a particular flight? If you look up your flight on the booking tool it states it. Thanks, my departing flight is on a MAX plane, but my return one isn't. My flight's not till mid-April, what are the chances this will be resolved by then? Boeing stock equals whelp. Nice time to get in in a few weeks time. Agreed. Over time Boeing stock has been crazy good. So buy whilst it's plummeting? I'd wait a bit, but it's up to the person buying. Germany just closed its airspace to the MAX 8, so it might drop more. Who knows what other blows the stock is going to get today or even this week. And if it drops more, it might crash, and then it might drop some more. We'll see. Except if there's fog. France and Austria also banned it from their airspace. Yesterday there was a prediction that if at the early stages of investigation some shifty stuff surfaces unofficially, then the major Western countries would start banning 737 MAX after hearing through the grapevine. Looks like things look serious at this point. All of Europe have banned it as of right now, ASA. This is becoming a full-on crisis, about half of the world's active 737 MA extension 8 are now grounded. Opening square bracket. Edit, in a bit of morbid reality, two of them are listed as written off. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.